All right, so we've got a reverse Brayton refrigeration cycle. Let's say we know H1, H2, H3, H4. We want to find the refrigeration capacity and the coefficient of performance. Um, we're assuming that it's steady state. Kinetic and potential energy changes are negligible. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out, well, where is our Q.L and where is our Q.H? And this requires us to figure out, well, where is your high temperature and your low temperature reservoir. Your high temperature reservoir is wherever you're rejecting this heat to, and your low temperature reservoir is your refrigerated space. So as your working fluid, as your refrigerant, which in a reverse Brayton cycle is probably air, so as your air flows from state one to state two, it's being compressed. The pressure's going up and the temperature's going up. If the temperature of your working fluid, the temperature of your refrigerant, if it's higher, then the temperature of your high temperature reservoir, the environment, if it's higher than that, then your heat is going to flow from what's hotter, your refrigerant, to what's colder, the environment, the high temperature reservoir. So it's gonna reject heat. And then um, from state three to state four, you're gonna go through an expansion process. So your pressure is going down, your temperature is also going down. And if the temperature of your refrigerant at that point, if it's lower than the temperature of your refrigerated space, heat is going to flow from what's hotter to what's colder. It's gonna flow from the refrigerated space to your refrigerant. So I've got my Q.Ls, I've got my Q.Hs, um, I've got my where my work input, my work output, or my power input, and my power output are. Um, so I've got enough information to figure out what Q.L is. It's between one and four. And then my coefficient of performance for a refrigeration cycle, it's what you're interested in, Q.L, over which you have to put into it, W.Net in. W.Net in is any W.in minus any W.out. I don't know why we're writing it again, but we are. Um, and of course, the W dot in is between, it's your compressor, it's between one and two, and your W dot out is between three and four, that's your, that's your turbine. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.